Welcome back everybody. Today we are doing another buy this not that. I have not done a video for this series in a really long time and I really love making these videos because I love kind of comparing the super high end luxury items with the really great more affordable versions that are really getting that look for a lot less money. Let's jump right in. I, I cannot get over how cute this jacket is. Like, don't you think I should get in trouble for looking this good? Come on. If you saw this jacket in the store, why would you have purchased it? I love aviator style and I love like bomber style. So I love like that it's just like comes to the waist. There's like awkward lengths for me and my body. I think this just suits me, my frame, my body. I love the style, kind of very classic and retro. It's got like 70s vibes. It feels wicked. It's like different than your average black jacket. It's hopping. Right? So cute. You No, but in all seriousness, I think this is unbelievable. Such a good bang for your buck because I love a good leather fuzzy coat that just keeps me warm. And in Toronto, it gets cold really quickly. I am so ready for fall and winter in this stunning jacket maker coat. And this is so soft. I can't even tell you how soft it is. I can't believe it's faux fur, 100% sheepskin leather. And I love that the hood is removable because sometimes I want a hood and sometimes I don't. Like this is just so casual for every day. Sometimes I just wanna let it go and just be a little more chic. Now, if you guys have been with me for a while, you guys know I am a stickler for good design and definitely good quality. Has to be good quality. I love that this is YKK zipper. It's so smooth. It's just like really, really easy, comfortable, warm, and it's just like really functional. There's a waist strap that I can adjust. And this particular design also comes in green and black as well. So you have options, but I have so much black. I really wanted brown. I love this chocolate brown color and I love that I can wear it with black because it's still a neutral, matches with everything. And their size range is absolutely incredible. They go from double XS to triple extra large. And the jacket maker, also has a bespoke service so you can actually customize your own jacket the way you want to your specifications and your style. Now of course your fashion mom's got the plug. I got a discount code for you. Use code STYLEHARD10 for 10% off. Make sure you check out all the links down below. I love you kids. I want to show you guys what I'm wearing today because I'm obsessed with this dress. I'm wearing Shushu Tong which is such an amazing designer and I love discovering new designers when I'm like shopping for all these luxury goods which is funny because today we're talking about getting the look for less but I actually love this designer because it's not cheap by any means but it's not the crazy prices of some designer clothing these days that are just thousands and thousands of dollars. Plus I always love to wait till there's promotions online like 15% off and all the special promos that I get in my inbox every day that tantalize me and keep me addicted to all this gorgeous fashion but I love this and I want to show you. So cute, shoo shoo tong, so cute, so cute. I got this off Essence. Got my notes here with me, getting into buy this, not that, starting with number one, the Valentino platform boots. Now these Valentino boots, I'm not sure if they're called the Tango boots because the platform shoes that we saw last spring, carrying well through the summer and will continue to go forward, are called Tango. So I'm not sure if these are also called Tango, but they're basically the same in a boot version. They are gorgeous. It's the same block platform and same size heel, same shape of the sole. Absolutely gorgeous. I saw these Valentino boots and I literally almost bought them and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait for a cheaper version or I'm just not going to have them at all. And I did find a cheaper version and I wanted to share with you today. I know that Steve Madden is nothing new. A lot of you guys know and love Steve Madden, but these are just uncannily amazing. Steve Madden made almost an exact dupe for these. Now, when it comes to the Valentino boots, I think these are also very, very similar. They don't look exact. They're not replicas trying to look like Valentino. They don't have the branding on them. Of course, they're Steve Madden, but they are just a one wonderful option for a look for less. A chunky, super high platform boot without the $2,000 plus price point, at least Canadian dollars, sign me up. Like I just really did not want to spend the money on these. So I think this version by Steve Madden is by far the best. A really great dupe 
for the Valentino platform boots. Next, I wanna talk about the loafer. Now, the loafer is very, very hot right now, and we're not just talking about the chunky loafer, but the loafer in general. There's many variations of the loafer happening right now, and they're all very much in style. We're seeing like the old school leather loafer with the hard sole, not chunky, no platform. And then of course, we're seeing that chunky rubber, kind of like, lug-ish, lug style, which Prada has really been like the leader on this trend. I personally have the Prada loafers. I love them so, so much. And I'm so happy that this trend has continued since last season. And I believe it will definitely be going forward for the next couple of seasons, which makes me really happy because sometimes when I see a trend, I kind of wait and think about if I'm gonna spend the money on it. And if I think it's a trend that's kind of fleeting, more like a fad, I will pass. But I'm really happy I did get the Prada pair because this trend is going to last. So if you have not gotten on this trend and you happen to like it, but you don't want to spend top dollar on it, there are so many great options for this trend. Beautiful leather loafers, chunky style loafers, and there's also a lot of mid price points. So there's some at the $100 to $200 price point, and then you'll have like a Stuart Weitzman at about a $600 price point that is very much still luxury, but we're not getting into that over $1,000 price point. So there are just so many options for this trend that I can't possibly choose one brand because there are countless options for this, and that's the good thing. When there are so many options, that means it's a trend that is around, that is going to last because a lot of people are gravitating towards this. There are trends that do get too popular and too oversaturated. I don't believe this is one of them. There are so many wonderful options for this trend. Next, I want to talk about those Attico cargo pants that I'm up obsessed with. I'm going to be honest with you, if I found them in my size, I probably would have bought the Atticos, even though they're a fortune. But I did find a really good dupe and I bought them and I'm so happy with them. I talked about it on TikTok. I've talked about this big trend of the cargo pants, super happening right now, like an oversized baggy cargo pant. Very, very hot trend that I personally love. I think this works really well with my personal style. Love this so much. Couldn't find the Atticos, but I did find a really great pair at Manier de Voir. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think this is a UK brand. I will say I do have a complaint about this website. I think they're exclusively online. It's just crazy because it'll say a price. It'll be like 180, right? 180, which is not that cheap, but also not crazy, crazy expensive compared to the Atticos, which were I think like eight or 900 bucks. So 180 and then by the time you check out, there's duties and then they charge like $33 or 30 something dollars for shipping. USD, by the way. So it's like, that is just absurd. So all said and done, even though they're 180, they end up being like 230, which is a little annoying, but I did want to mention them here today because they are a good option for the Attico style pants. Not all cargo pants that you see at more affordable retailers right now are really great versions of this trend, if you ask me. I think these ones really are. It does piss me off that they charge 30 plus dollars for shipping. I know duties is something you can't escape, but paying that much for shipping, it's 2022, get it together not a vibe but really really do love this option for this trend i think these are so cool i definitely will be wearing these a lot this season and beyond next i want to show you some cardigans that i think are so gorgeous because they are so trendy right now the super feminine chic cardigan look very very big trend right now these are trends that of course the usual suspects like chanel and miu miu are doing very well and beautifully as they always do but alessandra rich is such a beautiful designer and pretty expensive and when i saw these cardigans from urban revivo i thought oh my gosh these are unbelievable they look so much like alessandra rich they have a bit of a miu miu chanel vibe as well and i just think they are such a good dupe for this trend. They look really expensive. They're luxurious and heavy and beautiful and I love them. Let me show you. Here is one example of the gorgeous Urban Revivo cardigan. Huge 
fan of the brand. Just a really, really great bang for your buck. Beautiful, beautiful pieces for really, really great prices, and they look very expensive, designer and chic. And while we're on the topic of Urban Revivo, I really did just wanna to touch on one little item that I already showed you in my previous video. I was wearing it for the whole video. It's that green, silky satin dress that is just absolutely beautiful. So many of you loved it, and I just wanted to talk about it on this list because this is a style of dress that looks very much like the Attico. Again, it's not an exact replica, it doesn't look exactly the same, but it is getting that look. And if you didn't own the Attico yourself, you might just think it is the Attico because it does look luxurious, expensive, and very much like the dress itself, which is just beautiful and so, so stylish. Huge, huge fan of this dress. I absolutely love it. And I really just want to include it on this list because this is a very good dupe. Now, a lot of the dresses that Urban Revival make do kind of have designer inspired looks. I've seen dresses that look very much like Jacques Mousse, the Attico, Chanel, Miu Miu, Prada, really, really great stylish dresses that look like high-end designers. So I love the brand for that reason because it definitely is getting the look for less and it's just like pieces that's like people might look at you and think like what is that is that Prada that looks like Prada you know what I mean a lot of pieces like that like I said Alessandra Rich with so many of their pieces and their cardigans just stunning really great designer inspired pieces next I want to talk about a general trend which is denim you know the trends they come and go and jeans these days are some of the most expensive things in our wardrobe a lot of jeans I'm seeing are like 350 to 500 dollars again I'm talking Canadian dollars so much money for a high-end pair of jeans like premium denim is very very expensive but good quality denim is important it makes our body look really good I'm the kind of person that really needs premium denim I like the jeans to slurp and lift you know what I'm saying and I just don't want to spend 350 plus dollars on a pair of jeans so I actually did some fashion investigative journalism and I found the best jeans for the best prices. You guys have got to check out Gap Jeans and even Old Navy. I was shook. These Old Navy jeans that I got were about 25 Bucks. They're thick and compressing and very flattering. Now, there are so many different styles of jeans that people like. Like, not everyone likes the same style. Some people like loose and relaxed. Some people like fitted. Some people like high-waisted. Some people like mid and low-waisted. So many different options. So that's why I'm not giving you one specific type, but I'm just saying Gap and Old Navy jeans are where it's at. Really great options for styles across the board, but also really, really good quality. Very, very flattering. Thank me later. And last for today, because we are going into winter, I really wanted to talk about the trend of the cropped puffer, which I absolutely love. Now we've seen a lot of fashion brands make the crop puffer for thousands of dollars, like Prada, Montclair, Balenciaga, the list goes on. There are so many gorgeous crop puffers out there on the luxury market. Now I really think a great bang for your buck on this trend is North Face. Now North Face is not a brand that's like dirt cheap but I think it's middle of the road. So you're getting a good quality warm winter coat. I mean when it's cropped it's not the most warm but it's still like puffer good quality winter coat for some of these really high luxury designer price points. I think these are so, so stylish. They look really, really cool with like a dress down look like sweatpants or leggings and chunky boots or even the cargo pant trend that I told you about. I love this look together. Like you can really make casual look kind of like a night out. You know what I'm saying? Like this is an outfit you could wear out because it's stylish and it's cool. It doesn't matter that it's cargo pants and a North Face puffer it's so stylish and cool that you could definitely wear it out to your friend's birthday dinner you know what I mean like you can definitely wear it to things wear it to events you know it doesn't always have to be about beautiful dresses and freezing our butts off all the time so I love these kind of trends I think the North Face is such a good option for this because really good price point still cool still a great brand and a good quality brand for winter coats they have a great reputation so very good bang for your buck on this trend all right kids that's all I have for you today I really hope you enjoyed today's video of buy this not that I think there's 
really, really good options here that I talked about on getting the look for less, still being stylish without dropping thousands and thousands of dollars on some of these items. If there are any items that I missed or things that you know of that are just like really great dupes, please leave them down below. I love hearing from you. You guys give me so many great ideas. Feel free to also give me video ideas in the comments because sometimes I get really good ones from you and then I make videos on your ideas. So let me know what you want to see from me. I love you guys so much. I'll be back really soon with another really great video and I cannot wait to see you. So until next time, bye for now.